Hello, this is Candy with eyes to jesus.blogspot.com filming on my phone in my car in a parking lot where I'm actually waiting on someone for a little while. I have been super busy, so I have not had time to film many videos. I would like to do a Bible study video later today, but I'm only going to be home for a short time before I need to head out on another appointment. So I don't know if that's going to actually materialize or happen. But uh, I was uh, looking at some of my Maldens that I brought with me since I'm going to be uh, waiting in this location for a little while for someone. And uh, I wanted to show you some interesting differences I'm finding in the Filofax Maldens. So these three are all three personal size Filofax Maldens. And this one I've had since 2016. This one I just got today. So you can see the color of the ochre Maldens. And you can see this one is, is aging incredibly beautiful. Now I have really abused the pen loop in this one a lot by putting in a lot of really huge pens. So uh, I, the stitching came out on the pen loop and I just glued it back with the <laughs> nail glue. And it works fabulously. I'm able to completely use my nice stretched out pen loop in here with no problems. The glue is holding it together and I'm very happy with that. Uh, this newer Filofax Malden is uh, different. Um, the leather does not feel as nice. Now you could argue that it's just a matter of age, which is possible, but it's also thinner. Uh, when I compare the edges to the edges on uh, the one that I've got in 2016, um, the leather is definitely thicker. Now that does make this floppier. This is a bit floppier because the leather is thinner. But yeah, it doesn't have as nice of a feel and uh, the leather is definitely thinner. The pocket configuration is still the same. But I was excited. I got this one earlier this week. I was excited to get the black personal Malden. I mean, look at that. The leather looks so beautiful. It's got that nice crackled look to it. And it's got the white contrast stitching. But there's definite differences with this one. And that's very interesting to me. The leather on this one is even thinner than the leather on the new ochre. This one is very floppy. And I like that. Except when I put my inserts in here... I don't like how the spine looks and how it sits because it's too floppy and it just looks messy to me. And uh, But a couple of things that's really cool with it is the black one. I measured it out and I compared it to my other Maldens. The strap is longer. And I thought it was because when I closed it with having two pens in there and with the brains being very stuffed, it closed easily. As to where normally I have to stretch the strap. This strap is stretched, so it closes easily now. But for a few weeks, I have to always force them closed until the leather stretches. This strap is not only longer, um, it's thicker uh, than these ones. These ones are thinner, and this one is thicker in actual thickness. So it's interesting to me that they made the strap thicker, but they made the uh, covers thinner. So it is definitely um, way more floppy. Like I said, I don't like how the spine sits, though. So I don't like how the spine sits. And the thing that I really don't like at the black one is the back pocket. There is no back side pocket in the black one. I don't know why this is. This one was shown as being a 2021 uh, when I bought it. This one is shown as being a 2022 that I just got today. And it has the back pocket. And I absolutely love the back pocket. That's part of what makes these so stuffable. So uh, as you can see with the one that I'm currently in, the one that I got in uh, 2016... I really use these back pockets. Uh, I stuff bills and all sorts of stuff in there. So yeah, I don't know um, what the deal is. It feels like that they are coming out lower quality. And for some reason, the black one is the thinnest leather and has no back pocket. So if you know more, any more info about that, uh, be sure to let me know in the comments.